next guest is an Academy Award-winning actress you know from films such as My Cousin Vinny, The Wrestler, and In the Bedroom. She returns as Aunt May in Spider-Man No Way Home, which premieres exclusively in theaters and IMAX this Friday, December 17th. Let's take a look. I just feel so dumb. I didn't realize you were miserable. Yeah, it was really fun, that's right. You know, that's why they call it a fling. And we flung. It was fun. I could have been more fun. Uh, I can be fun. We'll hang out again. Wait, when do you think? I should see what that no, is. No, 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 no. It's That's what I do. He's always coming and Peter? going. It's not. Peter? Oh, oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Peter? I don't know what to do. Please welcome to the show, Marissa Tomei. <laughs> That was a very teasing clip. It very, was on many levels. On very many levels. <laughs> now, I, uh, you just came back from LA. You were at the premiere. Mm -hmm. It must be, I mean, always exciting to be at a premiere, but a premiere for a movie this big, this anticipated, was it just a, what was the scene like? It was, it was the best kind of mayhem. It was wonderful. It was like a, more like a rock concert than, than a premiere. It was so, it was so, Palpably, it, everyone was so excited. There were so many fans. Everyone was tested and vaccinated. Um, but it had this charge in it, like like some kind of old fashioned, like when I was a little girl, what I dreamed like a big premiere would be like, <laughs> yeah. it's like the talkies are in. It's like, it's like, they had like old like flash bulbs. Yeah, like, psh, psh. yeah. <laughs> um, you, I, but I also heard you do not like watching yourself on film. No, no, I do So not. Did, does that mean you don't even sit in the audience for a premiere? This one I didn't and I, I, kind, of, I kind of regret it because yeah. it, was a, it, was a, it was that epic and it, and it will be something I'll see in the movie theaters because it, it needs to be. It's just a really, really giant film. So if you were in a movie theater and your scenes come on, do you have to like do this or can you sort of tough it out? <laughs> well, I don't watch like, you know, just half of them. <laughs> I, no, I just do this. So <laughs> yeah, I just move myself. around, yeah. No. <laughs> do you watch when you're watching TV and old films of yours come on? Do you ever like spend time with it or do you just flip right by? I don't, yeah, I, I flip on by. Yeah. I haven't caught any. That hasn't, that hasn't uh, ensnared me yet. Oh, interesting. Really. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's good to know. <laughs> Um, I, uh, I want to ask about another film you were in because uh, yeah. we've talked about it uh, a lot on the show, uh, uh, King of Staten Island, the uh, yes, Pete Davis show, which you were absolutely Pete, wonderful. Pete. And, uh, you know, we talked about the fact that you played his mother. I'm lucky enough to know his, you know, his mother in real life. And, and we talked about the fact how excited she was yeah. um, that you, you know, played a fictionalized version of her. Uh, did you get a chance to meet her? Did you? Uh... I did I did get to meet her because I because she's so forgiving a person, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and she's she's incredibly loving. She's a nurse, so already in my mind, those are the best people. Yes, and, and they have to be very patient and forgiving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah give it yeah. up for nurses. Yeah. I think that's. Yeah. Uh, but then on top of it, she's got Pete as a son. Yeah. So, so, so you're a little forgiving there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I needed to understand what what's that mindset? How do you get there? I, I didn't really catch it. <laughs> I played a much better person than myself. There you go. <laughs> um, uh, oh, also, this is uh, rarely happens, but it happened tonight. Uh, you and Matthew uh, McConaughey were in a I film know, together 10 I years know. ago. I should I wanted to come out and surprise him. <laughs> yeah. But yes, it must be nice to see here. someone because you know, obviously you do films and, and you sort of, you know, your lives cross for a very short period of time and then you yeah. move on. It must be yeah. nice to see each other again. Yeah, it's wonderful to see him. Yeah, yeah. We had a great time on that movie. Um, yeah, so, but I, I didn't realize he's not running for he's governor He's not running anymore. for governor, yeah, so it's yeah. open if you want to do it. Yeah. yeah. That's like, <laughs> you can jump in right this now. This is just the serendipitous moment I needed <laughs> to announce it. <laughs> you, um, I, I want to talk because I didn't realize he uh, gave you your first role. Um, we've talked very lovingly about Gary Marshall on this show before, who was a wonderful director who passed away in 2016. I was lucky enough to get to work with him, and I love talking to people who worked with him because he was the kind of person that I feel like is so rare in Hollywood, genuinely a loving, giving person. Yes, how did you, yes. what did you work with him on and, and how did you find your way in front of him to begin with? I worked with him on Flamingo Kid. All right, so it was, classic. Yes, yeah. I think so. And um, Matt Dillon stars in that. And it was a great job. That was, I, I mean, I came to it, it was like, so it was like fresh off the boat kind of thing. I was really like, I looked through backstage and I saw an ad for go in and audition and somehow I made it through a bunch of rounds and then he chose me to have 
just one line, which was great. Uh -huh. uh, actually, I was promoted to have one line. I was just chosen to, to be <laughs> there. Do you remember and your it, one line? Yes, it was, oh, you're so drunk. Great. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a great first line. <laughs> it's a great yeah. first line. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but he, I loved working with him. It was one of the best jobs, really, I've ever had. It kind of spoiled me. It was at a beach club all summer. Oh, so you just got to wear a bikini and hang out at the beach club. And oh, so that's great. So you Gary had Marshall. one line, but you were there the whole summer. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. the best kind just of gig. Floating around. Yeah, I that's mean, the you, best kind, right? You must yes. have thought, like in later gigs, like, yes, what's it this? Was a little bit. <laughs> Yes, well, too much heavy lifting. Yeah, yeah. I liked, uh, what I liked about Gary is he was uh, lovingly honest. I don't know yeah. if you felt this. The first time I met with him was about this movie and we were talking about it and then it was just lovely. And then he goes, uh, there's not a pot for you in this movie. And I was like, what are we here? He goes, maybe my next movie. It was great meeting you. And I was like, I can't believe I spent this whole time talking with him. Uh, about a movie that he, there was, he knew the minute I walked in, there wasn't that a part for That you were the him. right person. But then the next movie he did and give me a call. Did. So it was very lovely. A man of his word. A man of his word. Yes. Um, is it true also, you uh, grew up in Brooklyn, and we are talking about the fact that you're in LA now, but um, I, I meant to ask this when we were talking about King of Staten Island, you had never been uh, to Staten Island uh, despite being a New Yorker. I, I think I was there at some point, yes. Well, yeah. probably was a little toddler and something, you know, yeah. in the 70s I was there at some gotcha. point. I, I hadn't been there in years. And when your return to it, was it nice to have Pete as sort of a um, tour guide, a guide. To, to the finer he points. Is of... the mayor. Yeah. He is the mayor of Staten Island, <laughs> that is for sure. Are yes. people really happy to see him? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, people are really happy to see him, and he knows all the right pizza places, and he knows where yeah. to eat, and yeah, it was like, he's, it's his home turf. I loved being there with him. That's great. What about yeah. holiday plans? What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to eat a lot. Okay, great. <laughs> so you get to come back here for loaf it. loaf around a lot. That's good. Is your family, are your East Coast family so happy when you come back? Yes, okay. and I'm so happy to see them. My, my brother's in L.A., I'm in L.A. as of now, uh, but everyone else is here, so. That's great. I, and, it's, and, and we didn't have Christmas last year. No, that was, uh, last so year was a huge dud. This is so I'm really hoping, This has got to be good enough for two Christmases. Uh, yes, and we almost have two Christmases because we have Christmas Eve we celebrate with the seven fishes, and then we still have the next oh, so day. Oh, the so whole thing. The whole all right, the seven yeah. fishes. How about that? We That's were... authentic right there. <laughs> Not hey. easy to pull off anymore. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for being here. Congrats thank you for on the movie. Me. Happy it's just a happy holidays to you. You guys, that's Marissa Tomei. Spider Man No Way Home is in theaters and IMAX this Friday.